let's simplify 18 to ratio 45. Step number one, consider the common factor that can divide 18 and divide 45. And we're going to have a whole number. Nine is common. Nine into 18 is two. Ratio nine into 45 is five. This is a one-step solution. Just look for a common factor and divide. In an exam condition, where you can quickly remember the common factor, you can start with two. Two can go into 18 without remainder, but two cannot go into 45. We're going to have a remainder. Ignore two. Let's try three. Next, three into 18 is six. Ratio three into 45 is 15. Next, three can still go. 3 into 6 is 2 and 3 into 15 is 5 which is the same answer we obtained this is when you want to start with the simplest numbers and it depends on the type of ratios you are comparing let's simplify 300 to ratio 25 step number one five can go into 300 and also go into 25 and both will return whole numbers 5 here will return 60 and 5 here will return 5 next 5 is still common 5 here is 12 and 5 here is 1 or you can divide this 25 is 1 and 25 is 12 but I started with the simplest number and this is your answer we have simplified this to its lowest form let's consider this simple exam question we are going to simplify 25 to ratio 35 step number one what is the common factor that can divide 25 and also divide 35 to their simplest form five is common 5 here is 5 to the ratio 5 here is 7 this is a one step solution to this problem we cannot simplify 5 and 7 any further because there is nothing common that will go into 5 and go into 7 and we're going to return a whole number next you are going to write this in the answer box for this question it is only one mark this is the simplest form of ratio problem you can see in the exam but the disadvantage of this question is that we do not have any further information about 25 and 35 this ratio could be comparing amount or size or volume or anything Again, there is no description of the item this ratio is dividing. This could be part to part or part to whole. This information was not given. It could be the ratio of student to teachers. Probably finances or manufacturing is involved. It could be the ratio of a big gear and a small gear in a mechanical part. This ratio could mean anything, but it is not your responsibility to figure it out in the exam. Just look for a common factor and divide the given ratios. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.